So I was shopping at Target with my best friend and we were looking at like all the room decor and a lot of it was so cute and I decided that I wanted to get a few things so I got this little calendar for the new year. Well, it's like a little... Isn't this so cute? It was in like the little dollar section. I thought it was adorable. And then I also got this one for my bathroom. And it just has like... Oops. And then I got this little board and you like put the letters in you can do like little quotes and I thought that was really cute and I'm probably gonna put it all over here so this is how that looks not sure which quote I'm gonna put there but yeah got my little calendar a dream catcher arrow quote board and cork board and I put it like right in front of my bed so I wake up in the morning and I see that that is the first thing that I see and it really just puts me in a positive mood automatically and it kind of reminds me of my goals and it's just a great start to my day. It's been a week since my sling has been off. It's a new year. I'm feeling very motivated. I'm feeling great. I'm right where I need to be in my recovery and I think some of my goals this year are to get my insides back and compete them. I know that's a stretch, but I think after my shoulder heals, it'll feel a lot better and I think it'll be a lot stronger because I won't have all the problems that I had. And I think another goal is to be more aggressive with everything, not just gymnastics, but life in general. So those are some of my goals this year. What's up? We're getting a pedicure. Yeah, what color are you gonna get? Thought I'd ask that. Huh? It takes me forever to pick a color, <laughs> but I'm probably gonna get like French or something. But yeah, probably like tan. Cause I have meat. Oh yeah, she has meat in a week, right? Yep. These are our toes. My main struggle in 2017 is this shoulder, and. I'm going to push myself to get all of my strength back and all of my flexibility to overcome it this year. So I wanna know one struggle that you guys went through in 2017 and how you're gonna overcome it in 2018.